It's one of the most beautiful and picturesque long stretches of coastline on Earth. The Pacific Coast Highway is a bucket list road trip for millions annually, who flock to the west coast of California from all over the world to hop in a car and explore this most stunning of scenic roads. From just north of San Francisco, to the enchanting Carmel by the sea, to the iconic ocean vistas and giant redwoods of Big Sur, then down to the American Riviera of Santa Barbara, through Santa Monica in LA then down to San Diego and its charming seaside village of La Jolla. The Pacific Coast Highway is a dream road trip, one that will change your life. Later in the video, I'll share a few tips that will most definitely make your wonderful trip even better. So hop in your car and let's get this show on the road. A quick reminder. One advantage of starting your trip on the northern end of the Pacific Coast Highway is that the Pacific Ocean will always be on the right side of your car and your field of vision will not be distracted by oncoming traffic. But going south to north is super fun too, so whatever works for you is great. We are starting our PCH adventure a little over an hour north of San Francisco, at the breathtaking 70,000-acre Point Reyes National Park. The rugged vistas overlooking the Pacific are fierce and stunning. A hiker's paradise packed with lots of hiking trails, you'll definitely want to visit the historic 150-year-old Point Reyes Lighthouse, which towers 600 feet above the dark blue Pacific. Now we are heading south to our next stop and the majestic Point Bonita Lighthouse near Sausalito, which was commissioned in the mid-1800s due to the countless number of boats running aground near the Golden Gate body of water during the California Gold Rush. The Point Bonita Lighthouse offers one-of-a-kind views of San Francisco and the world-famous Golden Gate Bridge. Back in the car for just a couple of minutes to the Golden Gate Bridge and San Francisco for a day, or a few days if you have the time. Of course you could easily spend a week in San Francisco and still not experience everything this creative and culturally diverse city has to offer, but a day or two is still loads of fun. You'll definitely want to visit hot spots like Chinatown, the famous winding Lombard Street with its multiple sharp switchbacks, and Fisherman's Wharf, where the food is outstanding, especially the fresh seafood, and the giant sea lions sunbathing on Pier 39. After a couple of fun-filled days in San Fran, it's time to hop back in the car and head south about an hour to the delightful little village of Half Moon Bay, which offers some of the most stunning views of the Pacific. Hiking, biking, or just relaxing while enjoying a wonderful meal and tasty craft beer at one of Half Moon Bay's numerous restaurants and breweries. Grab a quick bite overlooking the water at Sam's Chowder House, you'll love it. Next up is a quick drive south to the super laid-back beach town of Santa Cruz, a popular destination because of its awesome beaches and fun surf culture. And if you've ever thought about trying your hand at surfing, there are lots of surf shops that will teach you the basics, including Surf School Santa Cruz, just to name one. Other highlights include the Surfing Museum, and you'll definitely want to visit the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk to get the full experience of this great California city. Back in the car for your next destination, a quick drive to the lovely seaside community of Monterey, which beyond its natural beauty is an amazing artist community, including painters, writers, and musicians. Pretty much everyone has heard of the world-famous Monterey Jazz Festival, which usually takes place in the fall. You'll definitely want to check out Cannery Row, Fisherman's Wharf, and if you have a little extra time the Monterey Bay Aquarium, recognized as one of the premier aquariums in the world. Just a few minutes south is the enchanting beachside community of Carmel-by-the-Sea, with its stunning ocean views and uber-rich beach homes. Many of Hollywood's movers and shakers have called Carmel home, including Clint Eastwood, who was the town's mayor in the mid-1980s. Next up is what may be the biggest highlight of your Pacific Coast Highway journey, and that's the winding and scenic 71-mile drive through Big Sur, Located along California's central coast, where the Santa Lucia Mountains rise dramatically from the Pacific Ocean. Big Sur is the longest stretch of undeveloped coast in the United States, and is visited by millions of people annually. You're gonna experience some of the most stunning views anywhere in the world, 
including the beautiful Pacific Ocean, magnificent mountain ranges, and the monster sequoias of the Redwood Forest. And be sure to check out the Bixby Creek Bridge, one of the most photographed bridges in the country. Now hop back in your car for the quick 30-minute drive south to the dreamy little beach town of Morro Bay and its most famous landmark, the giant Morro Rock, which rises nearly 600 feet above the surf. Morro Rock is actually a volcanic plug, so a moment of quiet contemplation may be in order while sending good vibes to this sleeping giant. Grab a quick bite at the Great American Fish Company while enjoying eye-popping views of this very unique natural wonder and the mesmerizing bay. Yes, we are exploring the Pacific Coast Highway today, but let's take a quick detour into the Santa Ynez Valley to the super fun little Danish hamlet of Solvang, where you'll enjoy the yummiest of Danish food, including the fluffiest and tastiest waffles you've ever had. Along with the countless merchants and purveyors of all things Denmark, you'll swear you've been transported to this most delightful of European countries right here in California. Time to buckle up again and hit the road, we're heading south, to the wonderful city of Santa Barbara, easily one of California's top beach towns. Many have referred to Santa Barbara as the American Riviera. If you're driving a convertible, it's getting warmer so it's time to take the top down, get some sun and enjoy the ocean breeze. Highlights of Santa Barbara include the stunning Spanish colonial architecture, the Queen of Missions, Mission Santa Barbara, and while there, visit Fisherman's Wharf, and enjoy a delectable meal at the Santa Barbara Shellfish Company where live crabs are delivered straight from the boats. After lunch or dinner, take a stroll around the impressive pier, then a peaceful walk along East Beach. And away we go south for about 90 minutes to Malibu, the reigning king of superstar beach towns. A-list celebrities hide away in their beach homes and hillside mansions, and everyone flocks to Malibu's pristine beaches for all manner of fun, including the surfers, who love Malibu's super tasty waves. The stunning Point Dunes State Beach and Preserve is something to behold, while El Matador Beach ranks in the upper echelon of US beaches. Next up is a quick 30-minute drive south to Santa Monica and the Santa Monica Pier, which juts out over the beach and ocean, and is great fun, with its many carnival rides and family-friendly atmosphere, and food options are everywhere. You'll also want to walk over to the 3rd Street Promenade for great shopping and people watching. And talk about hilarious people watching, just a few minutes south is the eclectic and quirky Venice Beach, where you'll find an amazing mix of tourists, locals, hippies and skaters, along with merchants everywhere, selling their t-shirts and sunglasses and virtually every type of trinket imaginable all up and down the boardwalk. Time to hop in the car and head south out of Los Angeles for the beautiful and peaceful seaside resort community of Laguna Beach, located in Orange County between LA and San Diego. A perfect spot if you're seeking the quintessential small town Southern California vibe and experience. Laguna Beach has seven miles of truly gorgeous and protected coastline, which attracts nearly 8 million tourists annually. Main Beach and Crescent Bay are two of the community's most popular beaches, and the wild shores of Crystal Cove State Park are a favorite for both locals and tourists. And downtown Laguna Beach is chock full of fun, including great restaurants, bars, art galleries and boutiques of every stripe. And stop by the Driftwood Kitchen for a great view of the ocean and their delicious shellfish platter. So we've reached the southern end of the Pacific Coast Highway, but if you're feeling a little adventurous, consider driving south another 90 minutes, down to the wonderful San Diego beach town of La Jolla and its splendid beaches, restaurants and shops. You'll have so much fun in La Jolla, you may just find yourself dropping a hefty down payment on your very own beach bungalow. Before we close up shop, here are a couple of quick tips for your Pacific Coast Highway adventure. Try not to be too rigid in your plans and itinerary, because you'll undoubtedly find yourself discovering and exploring all sorts of great spots that may take you off course. And that's okay. It's part of the fun of the PCH. And also, consider traveling with a friend or your partner. Driving alone can certainly be therapeutic, but this amazing road trip will be so much better sharing it with someone special, and of course this includes the driving. 
Tell us in the comments if you've ever driven the Pacific Coast Highway, and please give us a like. I think you'll enjoy this next video, where we take a deep dive into the top destinations when visiting Los Angeles.